let me introduce myself and, and on behalf of Ethical Institutes, I invite you all for this seminar. Mr. Zahir Ji Nariman Sahab, Managing Director of the Siyasa Dairy, to come on the dais, please. I request Mr. Zahir Ji Nariman Sahab, the Managing Director of the Siyasa Dairy, to be on the dais, please. Friends, I would like to tell you that he is the most supporting, the most prominent supporting pillar for us to do this seminar here. And now I request Mr. Mujahid Zafar, the person who is with you to train on this essay, to come with us. Assalamualaikum. चार साल पहले मैं सियासत के ऑफिस में बैठा था। एक यंग बच्चा ऑफिस में आया। उसका ये कहना था कि मैं दिल्ली का रहने वाला हूँ। मेरे वालिद ने आप लोग के पास भेजा है। इसलिए भेजा कि कुछ फॉर्म की खिदमत करो और वो है मुजाहिद सरसर और अल्लाह के फजल से चार साल से हम लोग देख रहे हैं कि दस दिन की भी छुट्टी हैदराबाद आते हैं तो एक दो सेमिनार से लेते हैं मैं समझता हूँ तीन ढाई तीन साल कॉल सेंटर ट्रेनिंग का पर्सनालिटी डेवलपमेंट का यहाँ करें बगैर कुछ मावेजे के सिर्फ ये है कि हम के खिदमत करना अभी ये प्रपोजल जफर अमेरिका में यूरोप में इटली में बहुत सारे कंट्रीज में काम कर रहे हैं उनका ये कहना था कि ये फील्ड में हमारे बच्चे आना चाहिए अगर ये फील्ड में आए तो बहुत अच्छा फ्यूचर है नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी थर्टी इयर्स तक एस का बहुत अच्छा रोशन मुस्तबिल है और मुजाहिद और उनके तीन दोस्त मिलके के ये ट्रेनिंग शुरू करेंगे आप लोगों को सब में जो चीज लैक लैकिंग है हमारी खौम में वो है वक्त की पाबंदी नहीं जो खौम वक्त की पाबंदी नहीं करती वक्त की अहमियत नहीं देती वो खौम कभी तरक्की नहीं कर सकती आप ओल्ड सिटी में जाके देखते हैं चाय खानों में हजारों बच्चे घंटों गुजारते हैं उम्र खत्म हो जा रही है उन लोगों की मगर चाय खानों के माहौल के उसमें वक्त हो गए हैं चाय खानों में और उसी वजह से हम लोग में पसमानदगी है मुजाहिद उल्ला जो शुरू करने चाह रहे हैं मुजाहिद है माजिद है माजिद का भी जिक्र करना इसलिए जरूरी है कि छः सात साल पहले ट्रांसडाइन कंपनी की तरफ से सेमिनार किया गया था आज मैं समझता हूँ मेडिकल ट्रांसक्रिप्शन में 50 या 60 फीसद जो काम करने वाले हैं पूरे मुसलमान लड़के लड़कियाँ हैं लड़कियाँ इसलिए है कि वो दिन में काम होता है अमेरिका में रात में पूरा वहाँ की सुबह काम शुरू होता है मेडिकल ट्रांसक्रिप्शन का और यहाँ की सुबह ये लोग उसको अपडेट कर देते हैं तो इन लोगों का जज्बा है और ये जज्बे की कदर करते हुए हम लोग भी चाहेंगे कि इन शाह मुजाहिद उन लोगों का प्लान ये है कि सिर्फ दो या तीन बैचेस और स्ट्रिक्ट स्क्रीनिंग करेंगे ऐसा नहीं कि जो भी जो भी पैमाउंट देना जो भी आ गया है कोर्स करना है बोले तो वैसा नहीं लेंगे आपकी अटेंडेंस अच्छी होना चाहिए और स्ट्रिक्ट स्क्रीनिंग के बाद ही आप लोगों को लेंगे ज्यादा बच्चों को नहीं लेंगे सिर्फ पंद्रह बीस कितना है वो लोग का प्लान है वो हिसाब से लेंगे और मैं उम्मीद करता हूँ कि ये जो गल्फ है साउथ ईस्ट एशिया है और वहाँ पे हजारों जॉब्स हैं साथ जैसे भी है और आज टेक्नोलॉजी इतनी एडवांस हो गई है कि आप हैदराबाद में भी रह के कंसल्टेंसी कर सकते हैं बहुत सारे कल रात में कोई फ्लाइट में आ था दो जगह देखा तो दोनों सही एक इमरान बल के मुसलमान बच्चा है पूछा क्या कर रहे हैं तो ऐसे भी कैंसर फिट हो गए तो खुशी हो रही है कि हमारी कौम के बच्चे भी आ गए आज ये नहीं कि ये सिर्फ पैसे वालों के बच्चे हैं ये बच्चे ऐसे हैं जो मिडिल क्लास या लो मिडिल क्लास के हैं उनको ख्वाहिश है आगे बढ़ने की और मैं 
آپ سب سے بھی گزارش کروں گا کہ اگر ایسے بھی پہ سیکھنا چاہ رہے ہیں تو وقت کی اہمیت تو یہ ایک ایک منٹ کی اہمیت ہے مجھے آپ کا کہنا یہ ہے کہ ہر جگہ ایک ایک گھنٹہ سکھایا جاتا ہے ہم زیادہ سے زیادہ ٹائم لیں گے اور اچھے سے اچھا ٹرین کریں گے اور کوشش کریں گے آپ لوگوں کو اچھی اچھی سے اچھی جگہ پلیس کرنے کی اس امید کے ساتھ میں آپ لوگوں کو یہ کہوں گا کہ گھر بیٹھے کچھ نہیں ملتا محنت کرو رسک لو انگلش کا ورڈ ہے رسک اور اردو کا ورڈ ہے رسک رسک لیں گے تو رسک ملے گا تو میں امید کرتا ہوں کہ مجاہد اور ماجی جو کوشش کر رہے ہیں وہ کامیاب ہو اور آپ لوگوں کو اس کا فائدہ ہو شکریہ Thank you so for your kind words. Now, without much delay, I would request Mr. Mujahid Sabar to take on the class. Sorry. Um, everybody, first of all, I would like to congratulate you that you get the year. Um, since ST has, has taken this initiative of starting SCP Academy, where you would get exposure to all CP English courses, which is very important for you to understand what English course. Okay? And also to use that course as a catalyst to make a career. Now there are two things. One is to understand what course you need to undergo and what should be the methodology to train you guys to make you capable and sufficient for the market to get a job. So that's the vision of STM. STM is fine along with innovative methods, techniques, methodologies to ensure that all its trainees coming from various backgrounds should get the best of the trainings which include technical exposure, pop exposure and business understanding. So it's a brand of all. But what we need from you is commitment, discipline. So the two key things which I always focus when I talk to anybody from IT industry, anybody who's who's good for a job. Because whenever we move to any company, we are not treated as Hindu, Muslim or people coming from different religions, but we are treated as employees who are professional. And you are only treated as professionals because of your discipline, commitment and quality of work which you show in the company. Now the vision is, how do we make yourself capable and efficient to ensure that quality of work in any company you go to, or any arena you are looking for. So the second big question I'm telling you that, how do we make you guys the most capable, you know, of a skill that is quite easy and work technology which should be practiced in the STL. Our ideology would remain in the market, competitions becomes huge for you, right? And if you learn a technology which is important, requiring a company, but you have a handful of people, it becomes easy for you to get a job. Competition is less in terms of those technologies. So that's where I am in fact, STN is coming up with an idea of starting SAP Academy with four technologies. One is SAP BBC, which is the first course which we are launching from 21st of January. Second course is SAP BI. And the third course would be SAP BO, which is business object. And the last course would be SAP ABAP. If you look at these courses on the basis of SAP, in any language, in any technology, when you go and talk about it, you always see a programming language. So if you talk about SAP, SAP has a programming language which is ABAP, Advanced Business Application Programming. Now, any technology should have a data warehousing solution. So when we talk about data warehousing solution, they have BIW which is nowadays called Business Intelligence, but again, then I'm reaching the name and it's BI Devil, Business Information Warehouse. And definitely, nothing, no information is relevant unless and until it is presented in the right format to the customer and to the management. 
How do you do that? Now there are different ways of doing it. One you can use BIW to do that, and the other is SAPB, which is the strongest tool for reporting. Now SAP has taken business object from a third party and integrated with SAP. Now that's called SAP BO, business object. Now that tool is so powerful and so strong that any kind of report which is needed by the management or the company can easily be retrieved using that tool. It's so flashy, so jazzy that every senior manager or CEO of the company can ease with the data. So it's not about being fancy, it's about presenting the right information to the management so that they can take the right decision. So SAP business object is playing a crucial role and when you talk about SAP and its reporting functionality, SAP vision says they should only use SAP view. How many of you know SAP? Just raise your hands. So I see at least 10 to 12 hands. So if you have some background of SAP, I am sure you understand the importance of SAP BU. How significant this technology is when we talk about SAP positioning in the global market. Likewise, in my last seminar I spoke to you guys about SAP BPC. I always give this example, you know, there was a recession in 2008. Is that correct, kind of And all of you are aware of that fact. Now, recession came in, everybody was thinking we can't get a job, isn't it? Yes. So now tell me one thing guys, what is recession first of all? What do you understand by recession? One by one. What recession means? What do you understand by recession? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> That's fine, it's downturn in the economy. Yeah, man. I don't want the literal meaning or opposite, but I need a definition, I need an explanation. He said downturn in the economy means recession. Something of similar thought. Exactly. On the similar line, she's saying it's fall in the economy. Alright. Anyone else want to try it? Yeah. Sudden decrease of anything. Yeah. So so basically what happens is when there's a downturn in the economy number of jobs you get in the market reduced, right? So when jobs are reducing, competition is increasing. Do you agree with me? Yes. Now when competition is increasing, what you should do to get a job in that competition? Do not say it's a restriction. It's just that you have to do something special from others. You have to do some kind of value addition to your profile which will make you capable of getting a job in the session as well. But what we do, for a session we won't get a job. That's not the right approach and that's not the right attitude. If you are proving yourself, if you are talking about your attitude, then you should say, I have to do something extra from others which would make me capable of getting a job in the session as well. But how many of you did that? None of us. Right? And the prime reason of that is because we do not pay much attention to our careers. We just hear from our friends that, okay, this technology is good. And then we go and learn that technology for we pay. But that shouldn't be your approach or ideology or methodology. That shouldn't be. Reason being because career is very important to each one of us. And if you are taking any decision about your career, it has to be thoughtful. It has to be intelligent. It cannot be a random decision just because your friend told you. It cannot be a random decision because one of the guy who met you on the road told you that go for that person, you are going for it. No, it cannot be that. Because on your career, your entire family depends. Your bread and butter is generated of the job you do or you go for the company, isn't it? So do you think it's really visible to be thoughtful when you're talking about your career? I don't hear that voice. Yes. Still not. Yes. Yes. That's good. See, if you're coming here, try to utilize this for of the max. Because time is important. You can get everything back, but you cannot get time back. Remember that. So make sure that whatever time you spend here, you make the best of its utilization. Okay?
So now we know that. If you are making a career decision, it has to be thoughtful. So all of us know that there's a simple fact in the market. SAP is the boom world in the market. There are a lot of technologies in the market like Java, Dotnet, you know, different technologies. But why only SAP is getting so much importance and acknowledgement by different clients? Before you think about SAP, before you want to make a career in SAP, why you should know the reason? If you know the reason, you can convince your parents. Right? And that is the only base ideology you should have. You have to talk with the reason, you have to talk with the methodology, you have to convince people by giving examples. Otherwise, nobody would give you money. Unless and until you meet the requirement of the customer, they don't say the project is completed. Do you agree with that? So it's a simple phenomenon for all of us to understand if we are taking a decision, it has to be very, very important, guys. Now, we have been talking on SAP. Trust me, I was so devastated when I took 30 to 40 interviews from US. I was told by my company to interview candidates from Hyderabad twice. Whereas if anybody is from Mumbai or other capital cities of India, they are not asking. But from Hyderabad, they asked me to screen the candidate twice. Do you know the reason? Speak out with me, my reason. What is the reason? Why they ask me to speak the candidates twice? Absolutely. Ban on the target. Fake certificates. Very true. I was interviewing one candidate. Okay, I was talking to him. He doesn't know that I go to as well. I don't know the same way I that. So I was interviewing that candidate, it was a web time interview. I told him, please open your webcam. He said there's some technical issue. I leave. I said, okay, fine, go on. I asked almost 20, 30 questions to him. And then what I could say during that interview process was he was asking someone all the questions which they asked him and was getting the answers. But he didn't realize that. So I said, boss, get me the person who's asking for you. He immediately said, no, there's no technical issue on switching on the webcam. And he opened that, and he is trying to convince me that I'm the only person who loves me. And this is in the dominance in Hyderabad. Trust me, guys. So that's one the reason why people are asked to be screened twice if they are from Hyderabad. Now, we as a crowd need to be away from that phobia. If you have the right skill set, if you have the right understanding of the technology, nobody can reject you. Because that's what is needed in the company for you to deliver. That is what is required for any project to get executed. If you do not have the right skill set, if you try to be fake in front of anybody because they come with vast experience, you cannot fool them around because they meet other people, you know, they interview other candidates, you don't just fool them around. So my intention of making you understand this is to make you realize whatever you learn, learn the in and out of that technology. And when I say in and out of that technology, I mean you should know that thing technically, you should be aware of all the functional aspects of that technology, and you should also understand how you are positioning that technology in the business framework. And that is what is missing these days. You go to different institutes in a way where they will teach you system. They will give you notes. They will run you through those notes. And that is not what you need to go through. That is not the final target for you to become SAP consultant or to learn any technology. Do you think, is that the right approach? So what should be the right approach for you? I'm sorry? Practical knowledge, a real-time knowledge. There should be someone who should coach you how these things are used in real time. There should be someone who should guide you if this is the requirement, this has to be the solution, not the system. And if you get that knowledge, if there's someone can coach you that, I'm sure no interviewer can reject you. That's my promise to you. You will get that confidence by understanding that technology to that extent 
if you are really passionate and committed to learn SAP. This is the thing which we all need to understand because I have been getting calls and what they do is they just want to run batches in plenty because they get money. But our focus is not that. If we are taking you, we are first training you. We would like to take candidates who are really passionate about learning SAP, who are really, really serious about making career in SAP. Because we want to prove to the rest of the industry that whatever candidates we produce from our institute are the best. You talk to them business, they'll explain your business. You talk to them technology, they'll explain your technology. You talk to them about functional requirement, they'll explain your functional requirement. You should have all the answers to any interviewer. And that's what STN is coming up with a vision with. We are conducting a training process. I'm sure a lot of you would be interested in going for SAP courses. But unless and until I figure out that yes, this is the right qualification in you, we should be apt with that technology. Unless and until I see that technical bent of a mind of yours, which can match the SAP technology, I will not take you. But that's the injustice to you. If I am giving you wrong advice, that's the injustice because we are not actually working for money. We are working to ensure that the right people get the right technology and the right job in the market. And our focus is excellence and quality. And if you guys give your attention, if you guys pay your focus in the training, I can guarantee because I will speak for quite a good time and I know the in and out. I can guarantee you the right career. But one thing we expect from you all is commitment, discipline, professionalism. We have to forget that concept of person. If I am calling you for a class or a seminar or a training and if I say please come at 11 o'clock, you have to be there at 11 o'clock. That shows your interest and discipline towards learning is AP. Now it's not a CD. It can be anything in the world. But these things are the basic trade of any professional in any industry. And if you have these traits, learning any technology would not be a challenge. That is why I always say, when you go to school, you are not aware of single alphabet. Are you aware of? But you gradually go through the classroom trainings. You learn ABCD, you learn to form sentences, you learn to speak English. Nobody is born with technology. But it's your learning attitude, it's your confidence, it's your passion to learn which will make you capable of learning anything. So everybody here in the crowd is capable of learning SAP. It's just that they have to you know, go and survive. And I'm sure most of you are interested. Now, other thing I want to tell you about this course is now this course needs a lot of investment. Now, we are building a setup, we are actually getting a lot of machines for you, which needs investment. We are hiring trainers who are doing this job for you guys to make sure that you get the best of the training, we are paying them. At the same time, we are getting this service for you wherein you can practice 24 by 7. So, this <coughs> needs a lot of investment, which this is Zahiruddin Ali Khan Saab is already done for you guys. Now there has to be some kind of you know, contribution in terms of finances from your side as well when you go for this training. Because to make it important, to make it more relevant, if you have to feel the importance of any technology, if it is done free of course, you won't pay attention. You will take things for granted. So these Kind of institutes, whosoever is running, money should not be a concern. But the concern should be, are we getting the right knowledge? Do we have the right trainers? Are they doing justice with what they were supposed to do? And if you get answers to all these questions, I'm sure you are satisfied and convinced. Isn't it? So, all these courses would have a fee structure. Link to it. Now when I say SAP BTC is 20,000. When I say SAP BI is 15,000, a bank 15,000, a SAP BI 15,000. But what we are doing different and what we are doing special to you guys is 
we are making you capable of proving yourself in the market with the best of the knowledge in the technology. And now I am talking a lot, but you will see all these things in classroom. You will see all these things online when you go with our tutors. And that is what we want to make a difference to your life. But it can only happen if you guys are committed and focused. So, do you guys promise me your commitment? Focus? Discipline? Now, I would run you through a presentation which is for SAP BI. And SAP BI is nothing but as business information or business intelligence. Okay? Now, I would ask you a simple question. Data or information is of how much importance to you guys? Tell me. So this gentleman says that if we do not have data in the company, you have nothing to work with. Is that correct? Do you guys agree with it? So every company has a necessity to maintain the information warehouse. Now if this is the need by the client, SAP should have an answer to this problem. Isn't it? SAP should have an answer to this problem and SAP is answering this problem with the technology called SAP BI, this is called uh, business intelligence. Now initially it was information warehouse and then now it became intelligence. Now why do you see a change in the terminology? Because I always say everything has a reason. Why there's a change? Why by one guys? Yeah. No? Anyone else want to give a try? Yeah? Because of the advanced technology. I'm sure you heard these terminologies, data, information and intelligence. Right? What is data? Anything which you see is data, which is written. Anything which makes sense to you becomes information. Now, when you go to a signal, if you see green, you know that you have to go. Right? And if it is red, you, you know that you will stop there. So now that is asking you to take a judgment. Now that becomes information. If it is making sense to you, that becomes information. And if you are able to take a decision based on that particular data or information, it becomes intelligence. It becomes intelligence. And that is the reason why terminology has been changing right from decades. When SAP BI was launched, it was business information in house and then now it became intelligent because now based on the data which you have in your warehouse you are massaging, you are cleaning that data and you are presenting in such a format to the management that management is able to take static decision based on that report and data or information so that is the reason every new version has a different terminology now they are calling it in the same API initially it was information warehouse now, how this is helping? If any organization has a huge amount of data, maintaining it, storing it becomes a challenge. Do you agree with me? So, any technology you talk about, they should have some phenomenon to store and maintain that. Now, I would not go into the nitty-gritties and technicalities of this, but I would give you perspective and a context. If someone is talking to you about the BI, you should be able to explain them. At least verbally, not technically in the system, when they talk to you. So you have to have something which can store that information, which can cleanse that information, which can massage that information and present to you in a report, in a presentable format. And that is what a BI is doing. Our BI has got two tools, text is Business Explorer and you have data modeling which is RSA for PPJ Venice data. Um, that BEX is purely a reporting tool, purely a reporting tool. Now whatever data you have based on that you design your reports and these reports are nothing but the information stored in your organization in SAP BI. And now how those reports helps you is 
Now I'll give you an example. If you are running a company, what happens is, let's say you have been doing a transaction day to day basis. Okay, now you need to know how much of transactions has happened in the last quarter. So you cannot go day by day, line by line, and go through that transaction. You need to summarize the report which will tell you in the last three months, these were the transactions which happened, and now this is the revenue they got generated. Now based on that number of transactions and revenue, they are able to take a decision. Oh yeah, I'll do something else for the company to make sure that their revenue or margin should increase. Now that reporting tool is giving you a flexibility to ensure that you get the strategic decisioning capability. Now that is happening using SAP BI. Guys, I will not take you through that presentation because it's too technical and I would rather prefer you to go through that presentation when you are pursuing that course. Now I would like to understand among the crowd how many of you are interested in learning SAP? Okay. Why do you want to learn SAP? See, I need a reason for it. I cannot take you just for granted. Because you have 20,000, you have 15,000. I am not here for money. I am here to do justice with your careers. Okay? So if every Tom, Dick and Harry would come to me and say I want to learn SAP, I would not entertain that. But I would see whether he is the right candidate to get an SAP or not. So give me a reason why you want to learn SAP. To face the? What is it that in you which would make you an SAP? Forget about the technological challenges. What is it that thing which will make you an SAP? <coughs> Forget about it. It's boom, it's giving more salary, it's so demand. No, I don't care, I don't give damn to all those things. Why can't you learn a SAP? That's what my intention is. So he has a reason. He has been working on SAP for past two years. Might have a different module. But now I want to switch to a different module because it's more demanding in the market and have less resources available. Okay, now, all of you raise your hands. You are going to say, you are going to say me. Give me a reason why. You tell me that now. So he says that his background is from account, that's why he wants to learn SAP. If you have to make a professional, not a professional company, you always correct Yeah, very good question. I told you, right? Last time, SAP is an ERP. ERP is an answer to all the departments of the company. Now, when any company is planning to any implement any technology, they would see which is that tool which would support all my business function. Or SAP is the answer, or it elapses is the answer, but which is the most effective solution? SAP is the solution, so that's why every client is willing to go for SAP if they have more money. So that is one very important thing which you need to understand. This could be the reason why you can go for SAP goals. And this really holds you for long term in the market. You can sustain this technology for a long term because you know it has so much of solution in, in it that it can detain itself in the market for long and long. So that would be the word. But my question to all of you is, what is it that in you, which is forcing you to learn SAP? It has been personal interest. Your positive point in you. Why, why do you think you are... Forget about the benefits of the SAP. Forget about it. I don't care. That's the SAP, right? Why do you want to learn the SAP? That's my question. One special quality from you. Tell me, guys. Yeah. Please. Now, this lady says she has a passion to learn SAP. And she wants to enhance her every That's very neat. This is the reason. She wants to really make a good career. She wants to enhance her capabilities. We have Zandari Kansai with us. So kindly give me your applause. So I think when you are deciding on your career, you should have a reason. You should have a reason with you to decide that yes, I am going for this career and this is the reason for it. Because 
God has given us a sense of judgment. And if we cannot use that, we are not taking the right decision. So please reason your thoughts. Please ensure that if you are going for SAP, you have a strong reason to talk to your family that yes, I am going for SAP course and this is the reason because your dad might ask you 100 questions about SAP. You should be able to convince them. So always, whenever you take any decision, have a logical reasoning behind it. Now I am sure you are on that platform where you can think about it. Okay, yeah, if I am going for SAP, this could be the reason or this is the reason for learning SAP. Isn't it guys? So I want more answers so that you know my team get passionate about teaching you the best of SAP and making capable of getting the best job in SAP industry. I'm sure all of you are reading in the newspaper that you know, SAP is booming some of the initially. SAP is capturing more than 70% of the market technologically. SAP is giving you the best of the studies in the industry. Okay? So that is one reason why you guys are here. I know money lose everybody. But at the same time, your discipline, your focus, your commitment is equally important. Not just the same is demanding, but you are interested because you have passion to learn. You have that technical bent of mind which will make you learn all these technologies. So it's both ways. It has to be a demand in the market. It has to be that passion in you which will make you learn SAP. And I'm sure all of you who are here has a passion to learn SAP. Am I right in saying that? Yes. Okay. So. Give me one example. I need to see how technically good you are. Just give me a brief idea how a project runs in the company. Anyway. Could you please stand up? Thank you. Come here. See, I said I would screen each and every candidate who says you want to learn SAP because I need to do a justice with you. I will not take it because you want to learn I will take it because you can learn SAP. That's the intention. Okay. Tell me in my audience what is the project life cycle. There are five areas in SAP. First is one is implementation and documentation. Second is blueprint. Third is realization. Fourth is testing. And finally it goes to the production. That is goal life. I think that's right, but he is, you know, uh, jumble the steps, resequence the steps. See, any project starts with a lot of requirement gathering and scope definition. Okay? Once that is done, then you go for the designing phase. And once designing is done, then you go for building phase. Once build, build is implementation. When you say build, it means implementation. And once implementation is done, then you go for testing, that is important.